Hello guys, this is Code and Code, and this is a video editor for the algorithm, uh, Dijkstra's algorithm. This is one of the lecture from Dynamic Programming uh, gra Graph Theory Part Two or Advanced Graph Algorithms. So the problem statement, as you already know from Dijkstra's, is that you are given a, a weighted graph which can be weighted or oh, sorry which can be directed or undirected and you are also given a source node so you have to find the distance of every other node the minimum distance of every other node from the source node so suppose this was the graph and source node was this you have to find the minimum distance from this to every single node including itself so this is the problem statement for the Dijkstra's algorithm to solve this we need many things first we would need of course an array to store the distance of each node from the source node we also need a bag which is a data structure i mean bag is not a data structure i'm naming it bag uh, we need a data structure which supports three operation efficiently first insertion an element into it deletion an element from it and finding the minimum element into it so we need a data structure which can perform all these three operation efficiently uh, we can use array i mean vector uh, insertion at the back of a vector is constant time operation but deletion would take time so keeping in mind all of these things we need priority queue or you can also use set because in prior to queue to find the minimum element uh, is constant time operation insertion is log n and deletion is log n and same is true for set insert insertion is log n deletion is log n and finding the smallest element which is the first element in the uh, in the set is log n uh, is constant time operation so either we can use set or use priority queue so the bag is a data structure you can use either set or priority queue or if there is any other data structure which support these operation efficiently you can use that so we would need that but we are going to use priority queue <clears throat> to solve this problem so this problem is very much similar to bfs what we do we take the source node initialize its distance to be zero as in the BFS, we initialize its level to be zero, and then we would insert the label of node one into node one because node one is source node in our case. We would insert the label of node one into the bag. Uh, as you can see, we are inserting a pair. Uh, first element of the pair is the current distance, and the second element uh, element is the node uh, number of node itself. So the distance current distance is zero and the number of node is one. Now this was the initialization phase. Now we would process it. We would run the loop till the priority queue is not empty. As you can see, this is very much similar to BFS because we run the loop till the queue is not empty. So we are running a loop till priority queue is not empty. So what we do from in BFS, we remove the top element. So uh, and we would do the same. We would remove the uh, top element in prior to queue the top element depends upon whether it's min heap or max heap uh, we would use min heap because we need minimum element at the top so we would take the element from the top which was 0 1 0 was the distance 1 was the current node so current node is 1 and distance was 0 now prior to queue is empty for now now what we would do starting from node 1 we would try to minimize the distance of other which are directly connected to node 1 or directly correct, uh, connected to the current node current node is one so in the adjacency list of node one there is this edge and this edge so first we would use this edge to minimize uh, the distance of node two distance of node two currently is infinity so you see uh, the dis current distance is zero which means there is a path which leads uh, node one from source uh, to node one with distance zero we can extend that path to this using this edge right so the uh, the distance of that path was zero 
and if you are extended using this edge then you also have to pay four extra so total distance to reach node 2 via node 1 would be 0 plus 4 which is 4 if 4 smaller than the distance current distance of node 2 the answer is yes because current distance of 2 is infinity anything is smaller than infinity so 4 would be smaller than infinity so we would update the distance of node 2 to be 4 and once you are updating the distance of any node into the distance array you would insert that label into the bag so the label would be the current distance comma the node number so we inserted 4 comma 2 into the bag and as you can see in the priority queue we use visited array we don't have to use visited array here now the next edge in node 1 is 2 i mean this edge so using this edge we will try to minimize the distance of 6 so 0 plus 2 which is the weight of this edge 0 plus 2 is smaller than the current distance of 6 the answer is yes current distance of 6 is infinity so distance of 6 would be updated to 2 and since the distance is being updated we would insert it into the priority queue now the work of node 1 is completed now from the priority queue we would remove the element which is having the minimum weight so the minimum weight is this so we would remove this pair so the current node would become 6 and current distance would become 2 now node 6 would try to minimize the distance of other node which are directly connected to it node 1 2 3 and 5 are directly connected to node 6 so it would try to minimize the distance of these distance of node 1 via node 6 would be 2 plus 2 2 was the current distance from source to node 6 and plus 2 extra for this edge because using this edge you can reach from 6 to 1 but the problem with this edge, uh, with this is that of course source node is 1 so to reach source node from uh, to reach node 1 from 1 taking this path 1 to 6 and 6 to 1 would be unnecessary so of course the distance which is 4 won't be smaller than the current distance of node 1 of course uh, node 1 is having distance 0 while 2 plus 2 is not smaller than 0 so we won't update distance of 0 of node 1 sorry since we are not updating the distance of node 1 we won't insert anything uh, anything in the priority queue so we would continue we would try to minimize the distance of node 2 now 2 plus 1 uh, 2 was a current distance and 1 because of this edge so 2 plus 1 is smaller than the current distance of 2 yes because the current distance of uh, current known distance of node 2 was 4 which was from 1 to 2 but we see 1 to 6 and 62 uh, 6 to 2 is smaller than that so we would update the distance of node 2 and add the label of node 2 into the priority queue uh, as you can see for node 2 there are two lab uh, labels 4 and 3 this was added before so of course this would be greater than the current because we insert every time the distance is updated the distance would be updated if the current distance is smaller than the previous as we can see previous uh, previous what we say uh, label was 4 and now the label is 3 for the same node there can be more than one label so don't worry about that now after 2 we will try to minimize the distance of 6 or oh, sorry 3 so 2 plus 8 because the weight of this edge is 8 so 2 plus 8 is smaller than distance of 3 yeah because current distance is infinity so we would update it to be 10 and then add it into the priority queue so 10 3 now for this edge 2 plus 10 is 12 so distance of 5 is smaller or uh, 12 is smaller than the current distance of 5 the answer is yes because it is initially infinity so we would update it to be 12 and also add 12 comma 5 the label of node 12 or uh, sorry the label of node 5 into the priority queue after that we have traversed all the edges of node 6 it's time to see whether the priority queue is empty or not that is to go for the next or uh, next iteration so since the priority queue is not empty we would continue we would find the smallest by weight we all always find the smallest uh, level by weight so by weight 3 2 is the smallest one so we would remove it so current distance is 3 current node is 
2 and uh, as you can see we have removed that from the priority queue now using 2 we would try to minimize the distance of others in the adjacency list of 2 there is 1 and 6 but of course uh, this won't decrease uh, the distance of 1 and 6 so I won't I'm not showing that I will directly go for the node 3 because in the adjacency list of 2 there is this and this but uh, the distance of them is already calculated I mean even if you try to find 0 uh, 3 plus 4 won't be smaller than 0 so that is why I'm not showing that only but we would follow all the all of the procedure as we are saying uh, as we were following for 1 and 6 so the procedure won't won't change I'm just not I'm just not showing that right here so if we try to minimize the distance of 3 which would be 3 plus 5 which is 8 is 8 smaller than 3 the answer is yes because the current distance is 10 so we would update it to be 8 and also add this label into priority queue after that the work of 2 is completed so yeah work of 2 is completed so we would see whether the priority queue is empty or not the priority queue is not empty we would find the one which is having the smallest uh, weight smallest weight is 4 so we would remove this so current weight is 4 and node is 2 but if you try to run uh, for this if you try to minimize the node which are directly connected to 2 won't uh, nothing would happen because this is an outdated data because uh, 2 3 was the latest uh, what we call it tag or something uh, label sorry 2 3 was the latest latest label and we have processed that now 2 4 was outdated so if you try to minimize the data of these nothing would happen even though we would follow all the procedure we would try to minimize this but won't be able to do that because 4 plus 4 8 is not smaller than 0 4 plus 1 5 is not smaller than 2 and 4 plus 5 which is 9 is not smaller than 8 so nothing would happen we would continue again we would find the next minimum uh, we would find the next minimum which is 3 8 now using node 3 we would try to minimize the distance of these nodes but 2 and 6 won't be uh, nothing would happen because they are already minimized I'm not just showing them uh, 8 plus 3 is smaller than the distance of 5 the distance of 5 is currently 12 and 8 plus 3 is 11 so yeah we would update the distance to be 11 and L and also add the label into priority queue after that we would try to minimize this so 8 plus 6 is smaller than infinity yeah 8 plus 6 is smaller than infinity so we would update the distance of node 4 to be 14 and also add the label for 14 after that uh, work of node 3 is completed because we have traversed everything in the adjacency list of node 3 after that we would remove the smallest by weight from the priority queue which is 10 so 310 again 310 is an outdated data so nothing would happen so I'm just continuing even though we would follow the procedure in the programming same we would remove the next label which is 11.5 so 11.5 11.5 yeah here it is so we will try to minimize the distance of 6 3 and 4 but again 11 plus 10 is 21 21 is not smaller than 2 we will try to minimize the distance of node 3 which would be 11 plus 3 which is 14 14 is not smaller than 8 so it won't be updated and 11 plus 5 16 16 is not smaller than 14 so nothing would happen so now we would see whether the priority queue is empty or not the priority queue is not empty so we would take the element the smallest element by weight which is this just a second I have added this okay by mistake well, when I was removing uh, 11 5 I by mistake deleted this 14 4 as well but we don't have to remove that because we are removing only 11 5 so we would be removing 11 5 I by mistake while when I was preparing the 
slide uh, PPT I by mistake remove that too but that won't be removed so 11.4 would be there so the next smallest is 12.5 you remove 12.5 yeah you remove 12.5 and 14.4 would be there so we have removed 12.5 but you try to minimize the distance of other node using the node 5 so node 5 12 uh, 12 5 is actually an outdated data but still let's try to uh, minimize so 12 plus 10 22 22 is not smaller than 2 uh, 12 plus 3 which is 15 15 is not smaller than 8 so won't be updated 12 plus 5 17 17 is not smaller than 14 so nothing would happen so finally we would remove the last remaining data and we would try to minimize the distance of other using node 4 so 14 plus 5 which is 19 19 is not smaller than 11 so uh, node 5 won't be updated 14 plus 6 20 20 is not smaller than 8 so nothing would happen so after that we will see whether the priority queue is empty or not yeah the priority queue is empty so this is our final result so distance of node 1 from node 1 is 0 distance of node 2 from node 1 is 3 which is this distance of node 4 is 14 and that would be something like this yeah 14 to 16 would be 16 yeah this 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 and this somehow okay sorry it would be this 2 3 and 8 and 16 so this is the final result so the programming or the code uh, code i'll be showing in the next video because i know this is going to be a long video in the next video i'll be explaining uh, since that video would be the first in in my uh, graph theory playlist one or two where we are going to code a direct uh, a weighted graph so that's why i'll be showing that in the next video and there are many other details that i need to show you and if i explain that thing in this video this is going to be a long video so i'll be explaining the procedure the programming in the next video so thank you guys for watching until the next video drops keep coding thank you